check this thing out. I'm Jesse with Shellers. This thing's a 2013 Trek Madone 5.9. It has got electronic shifting on it. If you haven't checked out the electronic shifting, you should. You should come in and see it. It is really neat. Let's give you some close-ups and tell you why this bike's so cool. Trek uses a proprietary brake. They made the brake lighter. Has some different adjustment depending on if you're using SRAM or Shimano so that it will work with all drivetrain systems. This bike, of course, comes with Shimano, Altegra, electronic shifting. We have E2. That's a bearing that's larger to help dampen the fork. You can see the, the shape of these tubes. It's a really neat design. Makes the bike super fast. Look at the crank. That's a Shimano Altegra compact crank. The front derailleur kind of holds the brains of the electronic shifting. That piece right there is what helps to communicate to the whole system what's going on, and that is an Altegra front derailleur. You see the Madone 5.9 has an Altegra rear derailleur. See it's got a little bigger piece on the rear derailleur there that allows it for the electronic shifting. 10 speeds, as we pan up, you'll see where they put the, or they normally put the rear brake on this bike. In all the Madones, 5.2, 6 series and 7 series, the brake has been moved to the bottom bracket. It gives it a much cleaner look, cleaner line, more aerodynamic tube shape, and the seat stays, these pieces right here, are allowed to flex more because we don't have that brake bridge or that brake arch to mount a brake to. So the brake is actually mounted down below the bike. Now this is not new for Trek, but it is new on the Madone series bike. It's a pretty neat setup. So if you're riding behind somebody with a Madone, you'll instantly know it because you won't see their rear brake. The tubes have a unique shape to them. This shape helps them to be more aerodynamic. It's called a cam tail virtual foil. And effectively, it tricks the air in thinking that the tube extends beyond in a more aerodynamic shape. Similar to that of a Prius automobile. See the top tube has some shaping to it as well. They add an Affinity RL saddle, which is a great seat from Bond Trigger. Not only does it come on the bikes, but you can buy them aftermarket and in lighter weight forms. They make a carbon railed one if you want that ultra cool, ultra lightweight design. Bond Trigger RXL stem. Bond Trigger race handlebars. And you can see just into the picture there, that is the battery indicator for the Shimano Altegra electronic shifting. And here's the interface that you deal with. There's two buttons here and here that allow you to shift. So you're not going to push all the way across like a normal shifter, but the buttons are effectively in the same place that your levers would be on a standard Shimano Altegra brake lever. Really cool, really easy to use, fast shifting, and the batteries are said to last for 1,500 hours of use, so you can get a lot of use out of them. Along with that, we have a Bond Trigger RL wheel set. That's a wheel system that comes in at a lightweight and can be set up tubeless ready. Now there's a kit you can buy for about $200 from Bontrager to get the right tires, to get the sealant and the valves and a rim strip to make that happen. You don't ever want to ride a tubeless system without a tubeless specific tire. That can be dangerous. They use bladed spokes for added stiffness and for added aerodynamics. The 2013 Trek 5.9, things light, it's fast, the electronic shifting really tops it off. If you get into one of these bikes, you're going to want to check it out. My name's Jesse with Scheller's Fitness and Cycling. We'll see you soon.